All right, so in the last video, or rather the first video, I showed you how to locate where the nails were going to be that we would use as our solder connections and where the trigger switch would go and where the buzzer would be mounted. I think I set the resistor in place here. Second video, I showed you how to solder the thumbtacks to make our trigger switch. And I believe I showed you in that one how to make the master switch and how to solder the wires on there. Now, we've got a little bit more soldering left to do. We're going to take the positive and negative on the battery. We have to attach that. We have to attach our um, LED. Now, as far as the LED goes, okay, the one you got in your kit may or may not match what I have up here. Okay? I made uh, them all kind of randomly. You've got, you can have red, white, green, blue, or yellow. Um, this one here happens to be green. Now remember, with LEDs, right, with light emitting diodes, we have two different length legs. We have the anode, which is the positive, it's the long leg, and we have the cathode, which is the negative, it's the short leg. The cathode also has the flat spot or the notch on it. So you've got your LED holder. On the back of it, make a positive on the right hole and a negative on the left. And you want to go ahead and set that longer leg through that positive hole, okay? Because we're going to solder our wires to it. Now, the easiest way that I've figured out how to do this is I kind of take one of these wires and I'll actually try and untwist them a little bit if I can and just set it over the leg of the LED. Okay, and it's really just got to be enough to kind of hold it. Like you're just wedging it. And if for some reason that doesn't work, then you can also just take them and twist them together. Okay? You're going to take your soldering iron just like we did on any of the other solder joints. I'm going to hold this here. Let's see if my soldering, good, my soldering iron is hot enough. All right. So there goes one, and we'll do the same thing on my negative side. Do the exact same thing over here. I think the hardest part about this one in fact, those legs are so short, it's difficult to get it where you want it. I'm just going to bend that down, and I'm going to use my soldering iron to kind of pin this to it. I'll touch some solder. I might char the back a little bit, but not the end of the world. All right, now, we also don't want this moving around on us a ton. So what we'll do is I'm gonna take a little bit of hot glue
with a little bit of hot glue on it, okay, and set that aside to cool. Now, it's really time to begin assembling this whole deal. Okay, let me zoom out here a little bit. And now, I gotta start laying pieces out. So, I have the positive and the negative for my buzzer. I have the positive and negative for my battery, okay? Um, for your battery, you're gonna go ahead and your, your buzzer here, you know, those, those ends are a little short. You can take a pair of scissors, right? And I'm just gonna take a pair of scissors and open them up here. If you got a set of wire cutters, that would be ideal. You can take a pair of scissors, hold this against the blade and just kind of roll it. And that'll pull off a little more insulation. So again, I'm just kind of holding it against the corner there and I'm gonna roll it, careful not to cut my finger. Okay. I'm kind of doing this like improvised. Um, so, you know, if you didn't have a set of wire cutters at home or wire strippers, you can still make it happen. All right, so we've got three things that are going to come together on this bottom right hand end. I'm going to take both the black wire for my 9 volt battery as well as the black wire for my buzzer. And I'm going to twist them around the nail. And the other thing that's going to come through there, because I said I had three, and as of now I've only used two, is one of the legs for my master switch. So all three of these need to come together on this bottom right hand. And they're all going to get soldered. So, soldering iron. We're going to hold this here, let it get good and warm. Now those are connected well. The other leg for your master switch is going to go here to this side, that bottom left. You're also going to take your master or your uh, your buzzer. And that's going to get tied together there. And finally, the last thing is the wire for your trigger switch. So I've got three wires, your two switches and your buzzer. that are all going to come together on this one. Okay. And we're going to solder those in place. I'm going to sit here. And we'll let this get nice and hot. Melt some solder on it. We've only got a few more connections to make now. It's still a little warm. The positive, but now we're going to work up on the top row, and we'll work from right to left. The positive leg from the battery, the red wire from your battery snap, is going to go on that top right. Also, the positive from your LED 
is going to go on that top right. And we'll solder these also. Again, just like all the rest of them, I'm going to just let the soldering iron do its thing. Get this nice and hot. Hot enough that it melts the solder indirectly. You know, I'm not actually touching the solder to the tip of the soldering iron. I'm waiting and making sure that I've got a good connection. So again, top row working right to left. I'm going to take the negative side of my LED, put it up here where my resistor is, twist that in place. And we'll solder. I got one solder joint left, and that one is going to come around from my trigger switch over here. Push this one in. And now I can solder this last connection. Just let it get warm. Don't rush it. Okay. Now electrically, this thing is done. Moment of truth, if I take 9 volt battery and I hook this up, Okay, there's my connection. Now, what do we do with the rest of this stuff? Because this looks like junk hanging out here, right? Well, you're done with the soldering iron. Get that out of your way. And just take your glue gun, put some hot glue on your LED holder, Stand it up there. Run a bead of glue where we marked your trigger switch was going to go. Set it in place. And run a bead of glue right where You want to set your master switch, okay, and there you go. That's it. That's all there is to it except for one minor problem. I realized something. I put that wire in the wrong spot. It should have gone up here. So I'm just going to strip off a little bit more. Good thing we didn't get too far with that soldering iron. And I'm going to 
touch that right up here. I don't even have to apply any more solder. 